Welcome to Meditations from the Mound, a ministry of the Chestnut Mound Church of Christ located in Chestnut Mound, Tennessee. My name is Carver Moore, and I'm one of the ministers for the Chestnut Mound Congregation. And friends, if, you, if you've been watching uh, our episodes of Meditations from the Mound for the past few months, we've been taking some commonly asked Bible questions, and we've been answering, answering those in around 10 minutes or less. And I thought with Halloween coming up a week from Sunday, I would answer the question, can Christians, is it acceptable, does the Bible authorize us to celebrate Halloween? I, and, and I want to begin by looking at the origins of Halloween. It's a, it's a pagan holiday. It has no uh, rooting in religious uh, uh, religious matters. It has no rooting in the Bible. The Bible doesn't tell us that we can or cannot celebrate Halloween, but the Bible does, and I want us to focus on the Bible teachings that tell us that we need to watch what we do, watch how we dress, watch the things that we allow our ears to hear and our eyes to see on Halloween. So, Let's begin by talking about the harmless aspects of Halloween. Things that are perfectly acceptable because they don't hurt yourself. They don't hurt anybody else. Dressing up. Dressing up as cute um, Disney characters, superheroes, uh, professional athletes, college athletes. You eat candy. You maybe make desserts, cookies, cakes, cupcakes. Things like that, friends, are perfectly acceptable because it's not, it's not harming you or anybody else in any way. It's innocent. But friends, what I want to talk about is the fact that Halloween is an opportunity by so many people. Halloween, to so many people, gives them a free pass to sin, to commit Sinful acts. And I want to first talk about the topic of, or the issue of modesty. In the book of 1 Timothy, chapter number 2 and verse number 9, the, the, Paul tells the young preacher Timothy to, to, to make sure that the women adorn themselves in modest apparel. And friends, it's not just the women. Look at, think about some of the costumes. I'm sure you've seen things on the internet. I'm sure you've have things pop up on TVs, uh, on your TV and commercials, uh, with these very immodest, very per sexually provocative costumes for both females, but also friends, males. M men, we can be immodest. And Halloween, to some, gives, uh, might give us a free pass to do so, to be immodest, to use our bodies to fulfill our sexual desires. Friends, think about that. And we, and, and we see that the Bible clearly tells us that that's wrong. Think about also when it comes to things that we dress up as, uh, movies that we may watch, TV shows that we may watch that have Halloween themes to them. Things that we might think are harmless. We might say, okay, that's just scary, but it's harmless. But maybe if you choose to go out in a celebrating and dressed up as a murderer or a drug dealer or a, a prostitute or some something like that that is, in a way, in a sense, celebrating someone or, and, and something... That is sinful. In the book of uh, Galatians, chapter number 5, in verses 19 through 21, Paul tells the church at Galatia and us today about all the things that God hates and all the things that if people engage in, guess what? You're not going to get to heaven. And included in those things are sexual immorality and also murdering. And Halloween gives rise, in a sense, to all these things that the world says is acceptable, but the Bible very much tells us that, 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 that it's not. So, friends, I want you to understand, as we, as we tie this lesson together, as we bring it to a close, friends, it's perfectly okay to, to, to dress up for Halloween. The Bible doesn't tell us not to. 
But friends, the Bible does tell us not to dress up as things that are sexually immoral, that are immodest. And also it tells us not to dress up as things that promotes murdering or um, covetousness or anything that anything that is is not going to help you get to heaven if you do it for real. If you if you put it into practice in your life, you may you you may you may think that okay, I can dress up as this person or I can or I can watch this movie about this person, but what are you doing? You're drawing attention to it. You're gonna you you, you use it to defend yourself and say and, and say, well, preacher, I'm not I'm not engaging in what this this person did. But friends, in a sense, you're showing your support. So, so friends, think about that as you celebrate Halloween. I also would be remiss if I didn't talk about the day that Halloween is on this year in 2021. Do you know? I bet some of you do. Halloween in 2021 falls on the first day of the week. It falls on Sunday. And friends, there's no doubt going to be people that choose to miss the services of the Lord's Church to get ready and to celebrate Halloween. Well, friends, we're told in Hebrews chapter number 10 and verse number 25 that, that, that we're not to forsake the assembly of the saints no matter what. Think about that, friends. And so, friends, I want you, again, want you to understand that Halloween, Christians can celebrate Halloween as long as we do so in a Christ-like manner. As long as we as long as we keep in mind whose we are and who we are. Friends, think about that as you go throughout your week. Think about that as we begin to, as you begin to see Halloween. It, and, and everything that's going on, we're already seeing that. But uh, you're seeing it on TV. You're seeing it when you when when you walk into stores to shop. Think about that. I want to leave you this morning, or, or I want to leave you tonight with the uh, with a passage that's found in the book of Philippians, chapter number four and verse number eight. That's Philippians chapter number four and verse number eight. Paul here talking to the church at Philippi, he gives us some uh, very practical advice on the things that we should be thinking about, the things that we should be meditating about, the things that we should be allowing, allowing our eyes to see and our ears to hear. But Philippians 4 and verse number 8 says, Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue... And if there is anything praiseworthy, friends, meditate or think about, pray about these things. Friends, that's what we should be focusing on. Don't allow anything that is sinful. Don't allow anything that may be questionable to come into your life, to dominate your thoughts, dominate your, just dominate your life overall. And friends, Halloween is a, it, it, it's a, it's a wonderful, it's a wonderful time, but we must make sure that we celebrate in the right way and we use it to glorify God. Think about that this week. I hope that this short devotional, this short meditation from the mound has been uplifting to you. I uh, hope that it has given you some things to think about as you go throughout the rest of your week and especially as we go into this period of uh, Halloween. So friends, if we can help you in any way spiritually, if you'd like to sit down and study the Bible more with us, maybe something that I've said has piqued your interest, we'd love to sit down and study the Bible with you sometime. We'd also love to see you to our services. We meet every every Sunday, and uh, we would love to see you at our worship services. Friends, thank you so much for watching. Take care, and may God bless you.